Greetings, I'm Kwame Nakanadu, but some of you may know me as Jay Golding. In today's video, I'll be painting a blue jay using acrylic paint. The surface I'm painting on is Arnheim paper, which is popular for printmaking. And the pigments I'm using today are ultramarine blue, dark, I say dark instead of black, titanium white, and hooker's green. And today's video is quicker, mainly because I'm just doing a study of the bird. Now, typically I would do a wash as I've demonstrated before, but for this one, I'm gonna go with a different approach and actually do a pencil sketch of the bird. In certain areas, you know, like the the dark lines that go around the side of the cheek and even around the eyes and the beak, I wanna make sure that I kind of accentuate those in the drawing just so that I have it standing out before I add any paint to it. And now beginning with the paint, I'm just gonna jump straight into the background, which is, I'm going for a green. You know, in the reference, you can see some browns in the background, some yellows, but I'm gonna keep it simple for this because my main focus is just the blue jay itself. This is just a study, so I'm just gonna keep the background a flat green for the most part. And yeah, I'm mixing some of that dark into the green in certain areas where it will be much darker and now as I start off with the blue, um, I add a little bit of white to it just from the beginning to just tone it down a little bit because the ultramarine blue is a little bit heavier straight out of the tube by itself. It's a little, it's a little deep. Now I'm detailing those dark areas of the bird, like the stripes of, of darkness that goes around the eye into the beak and from the side of the face going underneath the neck. Now I'm challenging myself with a slightly limited palette just because I wanna ensure that I get an interesting study and just see where I can take this study and see where it goes from here. And yeah, I'm mixing some of that dark into the green in certain areas where it will be much darker. And I may add some white to the green at certain areas when I want it to kind of come towards the forefront a little bit. And now for this wall area that the bird is standing on, I'm really just using some of the green and the white. So it's, you know, it's, I would say it's about 90% white, 10% green. And I'm using a filbert brush just to add. Um, a filbert brush is, is a really good brush. It's one of my favorite brushes because it's a, in, it's a mixture. It's a, basically a hybrid, I would say, of the flat brush and the round brush. So you can get real, um, flat lines if you paint with the edge of the brush, but then you can also get really smooth blending and rounded um, movements and techniques if you want to. And as I get closer to the end of this painting, I'm using a fine point detail brush to just, you know, get little things in there like the shadow, the fine subtle um, hints of hair from the bird, you know, feathers, just little things like that. And for this part right here, I'm just, you know, making sure I get that shadow area blocked in. So I'm just going with a gray for the most part. Um, not too dark, but you know, not light either. And you know, the main area is just making sure that it reads, get getting a nice balance 
of lights and shadows in here as I just bring the study to a point where it can read as more of a finished painting, but also where I can still find something in there that I can take with me for my larger painting that I may or may not do <laughs> um, after this. And that's it for today's video. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribe. You know, hit the bell to get notifications on any updates, any new videos. And follow me on Instagram at jgoldenart. Thank you so much again for watching. Have a great day.